I'd like to yield five minutes to my colleague, the gentleman from New York, who's the sponsor of this bill, Mr. Swazi. Chair recognizes the gentleman from New York, Mr. Swazi. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and thank you, Mr. Huffman, for allowing me this time. I rise today in support of this bill that I've sponsored, a bipartisan bill, H.R. 263, which has been mentioned would rename the Oyster Bay National Wildlife Refuge as the Congressman Lester Wolf Oyster Bay National Wildlife Refuge. I want to thank Chairman Grijalva. I want to thank again Congressman Huffman and my colleagues on the Nat Nat Natural Resources Committee for their work on this bill, as well as the members of the New York delegation, all of whom are co-sponsors of and support this legislation. Congressman Lester Wolf, who represented my district for 16 years, is our nation's oldest living former congressman, and in January, he will turn 101 years old. The renaming of the Oyster Bay National Wildlife Refuge in his honor is in recognition of his monumental contributions to the preservation and protection of our environment. These precious wetlands, at Congressman Lester Wolf's urging, were protected in 1968. It was 1967 that the New York State Legislature, at the insistence of then Governor Nelson Rockefeller and the master planner Robert Moses, authorized a bridge across the Long Island Sound. Lester immediately saw the bridge would despoil this pristine and precious resource of the Long Island Sound and soon found himself at the center of an enormous political fight. Lester eventually won this fight and the Oyster Bay Wildlife Refuge was born. Today it covers over 3,200 acres of one of the most important areas for natural refuge anywhere on the North Shore of Long Island and is home to many endangered species. Not only was Lester a champion for our environment, he also served our nation honorably in our military. Lester served in the Civil Air Patrol during World War II and commanded the Congressional Squadron of the Civil Air Patrol, rising to the rank of Colonel. In 2014, Wolf received the Congressional Gold Medal, the highest civilian award. I urge my colleagues to also support this legislation so we may honor this great congressman whose efforts were an important part of our nation's environmental history. And I yield back our time. Thank you. Gentleman from California Reserve. I do. General, gentleman from California Reserve, Chair recognizes the gentleman from California, Mr. McClintock. Is my friend ready to close? Ready to close. Then I'll yield back the balance of my time and ask for adoption of the measure. Gentleman from California yields back his time. Chair recognizes the gentleman from California, Mr. Huffman. Th thank you, Mr. Chairman. I will just close by commending Representative Swazi for his bipartisan initiative to honor the legacy of Congressman Lester Wolf. I urge a yes vote on this bill and yield the balance of my time. Thank you. The question is, will the House suspend the rules and pass Bill H.R. 263? Those in favor, say aye. Those opposed, say no. In the opinion of the chair, two-thirds being in the affirmative, the rules are suspended. The bill is passed, and without objection, the motion to reconsider is laid on the table.